Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate KSP from known ion concentrations. So KSP is known as the solubility product constant, or simply the solubility product. So what you're doing here is adding barium carbonate solid to water until the solution is saturated and then you're measuring the concentrations of ions present which are given here as barium ion being 5.099 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter and the same concentration for the carbonate ion. So KSP is measured by doing such an experiment by taking a solid and dissolving it in water until the solution is saturated and then measuring the ion concentrations. So the first thing you want to do when you're trying to find KSP by doing this type of experiment is write the balanced equation for the solubility equilibria. So what that looks like is the reactant is barium carbonate solid which I've already written and then the products are the barium cation and the aqueous symbol denotes that it's dissolved in a solution and the carbonate polyatomic anion. So those are the two ions and you have the concentrations of both of those. So when we're dealing with solubility equilibria the forward reaction arrow and the reverse reaction arrow mean certain things. So the forward reaction is referring to dissolution. So this is the dissolution of barium carbonate solid in water to give you the barium cation and the carbonate anion. And the reverse reaction arrow is indicating precipitation of barium ion with carbonate ion to give you the solid barium carbonate in return. So we're talking dissolution and precipitation when we're talking about solubility equilibria. So all you have to do to calculate KSP is to write the KSP expression. So just like KC and KP, which we've already covered, KSP is always products over reactants. So in this case, KSP will equal the concentration of the products, which is barium ion concentration multiplied by the carbonate ion concentration. And as in all the other cases, the barium carbonate solid is a pure solid, and therefore it will not be included in the equilibrium equation. So this is your equilibrium equation. And all you have to do is substitute in the concentrations that you're given to find the KSP value. So in this case, we say that KSP is equal to 5.099 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter, which is the concentration of the barium cation multiplied by that same number, which is also the concentration of the carbonate anion. And when you solve and do the math here, you get KSP is equal to 2.6 times 10 to the negative 9. And in fact, this is the KSP at 25 degrees Celsius. So if you look up the KSP value in a table of solubility product constants at 25 degrees Celsius, you will find this number, 2.6 times 10 to the negative, five, negative 9 for barium carbonate. Now you can measure KSPs at all sorts of different temperatures and when you write your KSP values you always want to indicate at what temperature they were measured. So we could measure the barium and the carbonate concentration at some temperature different than 25 degrees Celsius and we would find that we have a different KSP value at that different temperature. So this is how you calculate KSP from ion concentrations that are measured in an experiment.